we are human. And our human desires include those of procreation, to feel good, to be with others, to enter into relationships, to connect with others in a matter of sexuality. We are human and these are some of the factors that drive us forward. They drive us forward into whether we're going to seek success or not. How we are going to present ourselves to the opposite sex. And this is just part of human nature. The idea that Musashi was discussing is not to abandon lust or love. That was not what he said And it was not what I believe he meant. What Musashi was discussing was not to make decisions in life based upon lust and love. In order to move forward and to progress in life, we're going to have to make very serious decisions. Making those decisions without that influence, which is inside of us that belief that we have to impress others and the opposite sex we have to attract them to procreate with them these are very powerful and i don't believe musashi said avoid them i believe what he was saying is do not make your life decisions based upon them two very different things Let's discuss this more. As a younger man, I made decisions based upon the drive for lust. And In that time frame, I saw myself spending evenings and money and energy on foolishness, part of the human experience. It's not something I look back on now and say, I regret this. It was part of my life experience and I learned from it. But I believe that the sooner and the earliest that I could possibly understand that this pursuit of lust instead of a practicality for life and building my life, building my future, and then celebrating my success with a pursuit for lust and fun. There's a a very big difference between the two. Allow me to explain. I do not believe that in life we should avoid lust or love. In fact, I think both are some of the most wonderful things that we have offered to us in life. What I believe is that as we go through our life, we treat these things as a celebration of our success. When we work hard, when we are productive, when we are able to take what we acquire and invest it and build for our future, then when the weekend comes, we pursue our worldly desires, which is another fancy way for pursuing the opposite sex and having fun. And I don't think that that is a bad thing. I think that if it's treated as a reward for a job well done and a weak well worked and a life well lived then it is all that much more sweeter i believe that what musashi was trying to tell us is not to avoid lust and love in our life but instead to make decisions not based upon those factors. As a warrior, 
He traveled far from people that he cared about, who cared about him. These decisions had to be made. These were part of the battles that he fought and traveling to distant lands and fighting foes and the reality that he may not return. And so his decisions were based upon honor and commitment, not based upon love or the lust for an individual. However, I believe these things can be the foundation for which a warrior fights. And this is the reason why I believe that a part of this precept was clearly de defining that we're not avoiding these things, that these may be motivators, our family behind us that we love. They may be the motivators for the warrior, but they are not how the decisions are based. They are not what we make our decisions upon. And I feel that's important. I feel that is something that we should understand. When you first read the precept, you feel that it's telling you to avoid. That is not what it's saying. It's saying to consider your decisions in life not based upon these things, but not necessarily saying that they're bad, which I do not believe they are. I see today, and when I was also a younger man in my 20s, I see people pursuing lust, putting themselves in debt, putting themselves in dangerous situations, putting their careers at risk, putting their livelihood and their safety at risk in a pursuit of lust. It is a powerful force. And as for myself, as a young man, I don't point fingers at anyone. I do not stand on a pedestal and say that I did not live the same life because I did. And I think the fact that I was able to control and understand when I was taking a situation to a point that I was going to destroy my life or place my future in danger and then I chose to walk away and I chose to end the evening. I think it saved me from a lot. It saved me from a lot of damage and it saved me from a lot of destruction in my life. That might mean that you're not the life of the party. That might mean you're not the one that outlasts everyone at the event, at the nightclub, at the bar, at the party. Very true very true but it does mean that in the end you move yourself forward with the enjoyment of the evening but not destroying your future from the evening and as I said I see a lot of young men get themselves involved in deep credit card debt getting themselves involved with the bad girl as they say who we may all have a fantasy for but again whether or not it's something that we should base our decisions upon is a whole different story. Because we have to think about our future. We have to think about a life that will not look at your side of the story. Life will not look at your side of the story. Think about that. You will pay the price for your decisions in life. This is reality. I will recreationally enjoy the pursuits of lust, but I will not base my life's future decisions upon them. The responsible enjoyment of earthly pleasures. The enjoyment of lust, the pursuit of love to the point that it does not destroy your future, but instead, maybe, in the case of pursuing love, actually building a more solid future. I think that quite often decisions are made 
too quickly to pursue these earthly pleasures and it causes people to find themselves in very damaging situations. There's no harm in taking the time to get to know someone a little bit more before you reach that time of intimacy with them. To understand what their goals and their intentions are. That is the difference between an evening turning out enjoyable and you wake up the next day feeling like you had a good time and you move forward with your life or realizing you made a huge mistake that could cost you everything in life. The pursuit of lust. It is undeniable and it is part of life. I choose to use it as a reward for a week well lived and well worked. I do not make my future decisions based upon it. The pursuit of love. I allow myself the feelings of love for those who are closest to me, my family. And as far as extending those kinds of feelings outside of my family, you never know what life is going to bring you. But I'm not going to allow those feelings to make me make decisions that destroy my future. Instead, I will continue forward with a solid future and a solid foundation. Love is a wonderful thing. And it is something that I keep close hold for those who are the closest to me. Lust is a wonderful thing. It is something that I allow as a reward for a hard worked week and a life well lived. And I do not make long term decisions based upon it. To summarize this thought, the momentary decisions that are made with lustful intent, they are powerful and they should not be taken for granted or underestimated. The control that you have over yourself and in your life to make decisions based upon what will move you forward and not what will destroy your life. Treat lust as something that you give yourself as a reward for making the right decisions throughout your week. Treat love as a foundation that you are willing to build a future upon. Take it seriously. I would like to know what your thoughts are on this matter. I would like to know how you look at this precept. I thank you for taking some time and joining in on this conversation. Please leave a comment. I'm interested to know what your thoughts are on this precept and what direction you find yourself going down with the thoughts of what Musashi meant and what he was discussing with this precept. We will continue on every Saturday. This is a 21 part series and we will continue on weekly. And I hope that you're enjoying it. I hope that it's invoking a little bit of thought within you. We will talk again and aloha. <laughs>